Hi guys, this is Brian Bennett for CNET Appliances and right now we're taking a first look at the Chamberlain Wi-Fi Garage Door Opener. We're in my garage where I installed two of these units with the help of our technical editor, Steve Conaway. They have one and quarter horsepower motors, also a backup battery to power the unit in case the power goes out and you can get in and out of your house without having to use the manual release. You would essentially get this device if you wanted to update your garage door opener completely. If your system is pretty ancient like the ones I had, you definitely would get the benefit of having smart connectivity as well as a compact and very silent drivetrain. So what do you get with all this smart home, smartphone connectivity? Basically what you do is you just open the app, you have garage door openers that you can see. You can have a map to different locations. I have them connected to my home and I've got a right and a left one. All you have to do is just press the little icon here for the garage door opener and the garage and the doors will open and close. You also get alerts if any of these open whenever uh, you set. You can have it send you an alert like an email or app-wide notification for when they open and close at any time. You can also create rules to basically have the app alert you either by sending you an email or a general notification through the app to your phone when the garage doors open or close either within a specific time frame or at any time if you need to know when that happens. So an added safety feature that's included in the Chamberlain Wi-Fi garage door opener is that when you actually activate the app and close the garage door from the app and that's remotely, it'll actually beep and flash a warning light and close within nine seconds just in case there's anyone standing in the way. You'll also find two sockets for two light bulbs. You can put in LEDs or CFLs, whatever you want to do. They're connected to motion sensors, which will activate the lights when they detect motion, which is very cool if you don't want to have to run to the switch to activate the lights. You just activate as soon as you get out of your car. One of the things I find a little bit tricky about the MyQ app is that it's difficult to tell which devices are linked to what location, especially if you want to add multiple devices to the same location. In my case, I accidentally deleted my home location and had to reinstall the app with the devices that I wanted to add all over again, and even multiple times, and that's something that is a pain. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out my review of this product as well as others at CNET.com. I'm Brian Bennett for CNET Appliances.